So we were out doing cleaning today, and uh, you know, moving rabbits around and stuff, cleaning cages, cleaning duck area, all that good stuff, cleaning pond out and all that good fun stuff. And our new English lop is a buck, and Misty, our American chinchilla, is a doe, and she's pregnant right now. And not only is she pregnant, but she's extremely territorial. She's really aggressive when she's pregnant. So last week, Saturday morning, um, I got up, and our Harlequin Rex doe had decided that she was going to tunnel underneath the uh, cage and get out. But what she did was she tunneled underneath the cage into to Misty's cage, which was a bad idea. Because by the time I got, all I heard was bang, 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 bouncing off the walls of the of the cage, and a scream. By the time I got there, Misty has grabbed her by the by the hindquarters and slams her against the cage. Big, huge slam. So she's really territorial, and so this is perplexing me because ever since we got Fozzie, that's what the boys decided to name the new uh, uh, English lot that we got. Fozzie and Misty have been enclosed in tractors that are right next to each other and when I was starting to move rabbits around today to do cleaning and I needed a place to put Satoshi our new copper uh, I'm believing she's a San Juan and a New Zealand mix with blue eyes she's beautiful I needed a place to stick her so I could clean out her side of the other tractor in the back so I'm looking and I come out front and Fozzie has once again climbed underneath, uh, tunneled underneath of the rabbit tractors. We just moved them yesterday. And this is what I find. Well, I, I just brought Satoshi out here and dropped her in his sock. But this is what I'm finding in the mornings when I get up. Is that Fozzie here has tunneled out. And this is what they do. They just lay on top of each other all day. This isn't one of their cute poses. The cute poses is where they're literally both sprawled out, laying on each other asleep, with his ears draped half over Misty. But they've decided that they like each other. He doesn't ever try to mount her. They don't, you know, she's pr she's a pregnant doe. He, he doesn't ever try to bother her or anything. I think he smells the doe over there who I don't think is pregnant. But they... He's just obsessed with her. He just wants to be with her all the time. I don't understand why. But uh, I've never seen Misty act like that with another rabbit. Like, he can climb on her. See? He can climb on her. You'll see him. He'll nudge himself up underneath of her. He'll plop down on top of her. And she's probably one of the most territorial rabbits that I've got. So, if anybody else has ever experienced um, a, a, a rabbit love in your uh, farm, let me know, because I'm hoping that he's not just a buck that's not going to mount, because he never tries to mount her, like I said, he simply just goes in there, and he wants to lay with her, he wants to lay on top of her, underneath of her, he wants to clean her, he wants to take care of her like it's his wife or his girlfriend, so, um, that's all I had for today, we just, like I said, we did a lot of cleaning. Uh, nothing around here has really changed. The ducks just finished having their play, and they're uh, chasing each other around the yard. You guys want to see that? They've finished their baths and are now just walking around in the back. We keep the plastic out on the ground, draped open like that, because every other day we come out and we flip them over to a new area, and tons and tons of bugs have decided to reside underneath the plastic. And then in a couple of days, you flip the bugs back over, you flip the tarps back over to the other side. It doesn't kill the grass, you know, because you're only leaving it there for two or three days. But it provides a huge source of bugs for the ducks to forage. And, you know, I'm all about trying to find better ways to create bigger natural food sources for our animals here. So, again, if you want to know what's in your food or where it comes from, you got to grow it yourself. Uh, if you're interested in rabbit farming or duck farming or micro farming or getting into heirloom seeds, just contact me. You can uh, get with us on Facebook, Will on Fa Will Coley Facebook, um, or you can contact us through the YouTube channel. We'd be happy to talk to you guys. Uh, Y'all have a good day, and Sully.